From a pioneer's plan for the village grew a stately, graceful capital, Melbourne, Australia's second city. In the hundred odd years of its history, Melbourne has earned a reputation for progress in industry, in city planning and in culture. But the real charm of this city lies in its elegance. There is grace here. Somehow you can feel it even in the heart of town. There's a blending of the new with the traditional, utility with beauty, and the effect is very attractive. To the south of the city, the River Yarra runs a broad and winding course. Here, just a stone's throw from busy streets, are gardens and parklands. And here there's another sample of elegance in store, not in the urban sense, but in fashion. We're about to have a preview glimpse of styles for the new season, created by Australian designers, tailored from Australian wool. To set the theme, a three-piece outfit in warm, smooth surface wool. The cone-shaped skirt has a matching jacket fastening high at the neck. And underneath, a sleeveless top with a bow trim. A tweed suit with what the designer calls the textured look. Smart and comfortable, it features a soft leather belt that flatters the waistline and gives the suit a relaxed line. Our models were Leah and Wynne. From the banks of the Yarra, we go to another park setting, Fitzroy Gardens and the oldest building in Australia, Captain Cook's Cottage. It was brought out from England nearly 30 years ago and reassembled here in the gardens for public inspection. But our inspection here is to have a more modern note. The top coat can be the highlight of a smart winter wardrobe and these three styles point the way to fashion for that season. Following a general theme in the clothing industry, coat designers are turning to colour for added effect. This one is in Bon Bon Pink, a new shade in this year's exciting new colour range. It features the long body line set off by a low set tie belt, also patch pockets and a Peter Pan collar. Striking and dramatic and fashioned on a cape-like line with deep folds falling from the shoulders to give it softness and a flowing effect. On the right, an elegant blue adds grace to this coat. Simple and buttoning high to a snug collar, it's a style that'll be a favourite among this year's winter collections. When winter is around, say along the pier here at St Kilda, and when leisure calls for casual wear, then wool really comes into its own. Slacks and sweaters are the thing, bulky knits in the sweaters the trend. The hallmark of a good casual sweater lies mainly in its adaptability. Certainly pattern, knit and fit are important, but a casual garment should be one that's equally suitable on a fishing trip, ski run or just a Sunday afternoon stroll. The man's pullover is hand embroidered and distinctively colourful. The girl's bulky knit cardigan, also with hand embroidery, is fully fashioned for soft comfort. But for gay design, it's this sweater that takes the award. Fully fashioned with contrasting bands to the sleeves and basque and based on the Italian styling, a wide turtlenecked collar. By the way, look for these swing tickets next time you're shopping. They're your personal guarantee of fineness in fashion, perfection in quality and the very best in wool. Again in Fitzroy Gardens, and again with a casual flavour, winter dresses come before our camera. These are the anywhere, anytime frocks that are the standby in any girl's wardrobe. On the left here, deep flares from the hem give a swish and swirl appearance.
bright and individual, these frocks lend themselves to wear with many kinds of interesting accessories. Slits from hem to waistline reveal a plain matching underskirt in this smart dress. And what an eye-catching colour combination, turquoise and cinnamon. We're in the King's Domain now, in a memorial garden commemorating the pioneer women of Victoria. And here we're shown two more trends in casual wear. Slack suits will be popular again this year, with the sleek and tapered appearance still the keynote. Colours will be brighter and jackets will have a more sophisticated cut. Here, an abbreviated bolero, overmatching plaid slacks. And in contrast, a long line collarless jacket with high button fastening and an attractive fringe trim. Once again, we change our location. This time to the Melbourne Botanical Gardens, where we're going to take a look at some more coats. As we said of the city of Melbourne, a blending of utility with beauty. Here without question is the parallel in fashion. Top coats style to weather the bleakest wind, design to turn a flattering eye. For young lady or matron, a coat with glamour in a sunny yellow that laughs at the grey days. And the other in gentle lilac, warm and snug, and highlighted by the very popular double-breasted cut. The general fashion trend for this year is towards simplicity and quiet good taste. And the best evidence of it is in suits. Choice of colour has been carefully made to suit the line of the garment. This gay coupling is hot pink with aqua. The knife pleated skirt is contrasted by the more casual lines of the jacket, a combination that's retained its popularity for quite some years now. Here we have pure wool tweed in a delicate shade of amethyst. The top is patterned on a mess jacket style, the skirt plain and neatly tailored. Feature of the jacket is a wide opening neckline which gives my lady the option of wearing it just as it is or with a high necked contrasting sweater for cooler days. Tweed again in a soft, moss-green suit with three-quarter length jacket. Buyers have praised the design for what they call surface interest, the effect of the patch pockets and the texture contrast given by different fabric in the reveres. Our models, Vida, Marlene and Diane, three of Melbourne's leading models showing three of Australia's top-line creations. Next stop in our fashion tour is the famous Maya Music Bowl, where we're going to see some more coats. The popular trend here is to a dawn-to-dusk styling, suitable for a morning in town or worn over casual to late-day wear. Several Australian fashion houses are showing top coats with the new fluid line, like this one. Long, deep reveres extending below the waist balance a low-slung half-belt from which inverted pleats fall to the hem. A very graceful effect. Another use of amethyst tweed, again with the textured look. The slim collar, deep bat-wing sleeves and the tapering cut add up to top fashion rating. Our model's word for it? Exciting. And the designer thinks the market for it will be just that. For casual wear of the not too informal type, here are three new suggestions being offered to the budget conscious shopper. To the left, 
a smart skirt with a deep inverted pleat that can be worn open for a sporty effect or buttoned through for town wear. There's smartness too on the male front, a two-tone check sweater in double-knit jersey wool. In both the cardigan and twin set here, we find the high button style has been favoured. The other skirt features all-round box pleats and contour shaping at the waist, and a shadow plaid material. Speaking of materials, they should be an interesting and colourful feature of street dresses this year. We'll be seeing lots of checks, especially in afternoon wear. The dress being modelled now, for instance, takes on a more formal tone through the unusual check design. In fact, it's intended to have something of the appearance of a suit. The younger lass will probably like the new two-piece style. This one has the long line fitted top and hip fitted skirt with a flamenco pleat flare. It's set off by gold embroidery. The fabric, wool, pure Australian wool. Fine weave, knitted or crepe, wool is always first in fashion. The fashion picture is one that's constantly changing and many people ask why this is so. Well, fashion changes to give a freshness to an appearance, new illusion to a form. It must make a woman feel individual, feel feminine, be feminine. Extremes in fashion rarely last. True fashion is simply variation on the theme of subtlety and good taste. And a wisely chosen garment can stay in vogue for years. Take these suits, for example. They'll be fashion perennials. This is the cape line style. Sophisticated and comfortable, it's highlighted by a large two-way knitted collar giving texture contrast. And here we have a three-piece suit with a loose jacket, tie fastened high at the neckline. The slim skirt is topped with a blouse of lighter weight fabric, wool naturally. A suit that's easy to wear and very easy to look at. We spoke of subtlety and good taste. Well, there's no doubt our Australian designers have captured that, and not only in suits. It's there in dresses, too. Classics in colour and style, these are the all-season frocks that mirror the utility of wool. Ideal for the business girl, fashion-wise, price-wise. And the accent is on comfort and the figure-smartening look. Finally, to formal gowns, the gems of the fashion world. This wedding gown, by one of Melbourne's leading stylists, is being hailed as one of the top designs of the year. It features handwork lace, custom-made mounted on net, and a simple style bolero top. Elegance to match that very special occasion. And remember, all garments with this seal are right for your special occasion. Right in quality and right in fashion. An evening gown that takes its lines from the graceful Indian sari. Superbly draped, this creation is in featherweight wool crepe and in the wool bureau colour of bonbon pink. One shoulder bare, the other caught with a jewel trimmed bow in matching satin. From the robes of ancient Greece came the inspiration for our next classic gown. The appliqued bodice, in matching heavy lace, is jeweled with iridescent sequins, and over the bodice itself a deep cowl folds gently back and front. The fabric is again wool crepe. Charm, grace and colour. A full flowing skirt with floating panels, a bodice encrusted with beads and pearls, and a striking Kelly Green. A short evening ensemble with the new hand-knitted look. The frock slim skirt is topped with a cocoon-shaped jacket that fastens at the shoulders with a looped bow, and underneath a blouse jeweled in matching beads.
for opening nights or dinner parties. The ever useful short evening sheath in blue crepe and with the bodice embroidered in silver beads and pearls. Yes, fashion is high for 62 and the fashion in fabric is wool.